Hey everyone, it's Paul from the Explore Couple here. Today we're going to do a rig rundown on the Explore Couple four wheel drive. Um, so we'll start off at the front end. So we'll go Ironman Pro Guard Bull Bar. Um, the front bar has been power coded to match the colour of the car. And then the, the hoop, which is this black one here, has been power coded black and used to come chrome. Um, we've got a power coded black to match the beam of the car. Um, the car is a 2018 MQ Triton um, Sports Edition. Uh, with the Sports Edition, it comes with a rear, rear diff blocker, um, push start, push start, yeah, push start, and keyless entry. Um, back to the front bar. So, with the front bar, we've got recovery points down below. I'm in rated recovery points. Um, so, with the same bash flakes. So we'll move on to the, the light setups on the Mitsubishi Triton. So these are your steady Type X 8.5 inch spotlights. These are just plastic covers, so it just protects the car or protects the headlights from rock chips. So you can take these off, so these just pop off like that. And then you can use them, and if you're not using them you can put these back on. So just clip on. In the bull bar, we've got steady fog lights, um, they just replace the the lights in the standard ball bar. Up the top we have a up the top here we got a 42 inch double row steady light bar. That's really good, very bright. And then down the side here we just got eight inch steady spotlights to shine the side of the car when we're pulled up at camp at night. So we'll talk about the snorkel and the side step. So this is a four inch stainless steel seamless fabricated snorkel. Um, was fabricated by a guy in Queensland, all type fabrication. Um, does amazing work, very good welder. Um, so that helps the car breathe a lot better. And then the side step, these are a set of rock armor rock sliders. So they just protect the, the seal of your cars if you're doing a lot of rock crawling and stuff, you know, just smash the side of your seal. This will take the hit and they add and they're good for a side step if you need to get up a little bit higher. So you guys might notice the word lab air conditioning on the car. Um, that's my other business. I am my air conditioning installer. This is my own company. Um, so the car serves as a dual purpose and use it for traveling, touring, or driving, and its main purpose is obviously for work as well. So hence the uh, the air conditioning logo on the side. So moving on to the awning, it's a Dacia Eclipse 180 degree awning. Um, this thing's amazing. Very quick to set up. So you just unzip this a little bit short. That opens up and then pull these two straps out. And then this opens up. There you go. Two straps. So you gotta hook this strap in. Now it pulls around to the other side. And you hook it onto your roof wax. Then we got this side here. You can hook this onto the front of the car. And that is it, guys. It's a freestanding awning. Um, has some support poles, so you can drop down. You don't need them, but if it's really if it's really windy or if it's heavy rain. these poles here kind of supports the weight so that's it there there's another pole here so they're pretty strong but they're freestanding up to about 30 kilometers of wind anything above that you'll probably need to put poles in and, and tie it down properly and that's it see very quick to set up okay so moving on to the kitchen this side gate drops down this is our table. This is like a bar where we do our cooking. Uh, we can have drinks on here. Open this up. 
inside the kitchen. We have all our um, charges are in this bag here. This one here. And then we have a toiletry bag. You've got Anna's bag with all her toothbrush, hair dryer, toothpaste, shampoo, and then you got my bag with yeah, shampoo, toothpaste, and all that stuff. And here we have all our cups, kettles, knives, forks, everything we need to cook. So that's all in here. We have uh, PowerPoint down here. We can use that to run a hairdryer <laughs> or Anna's hairdryer um, and other electrical appliances. We've got a, a travel buddy, so this is just like a 12 volt, 12 volt oven that we can um, cook party pies. We can cook a roast in here while we're on the road, um, smashing out the K's. So that's really handy. Um, still running a gas stove, so we've got a gas stove here which we can use just to boil water, um, cook food all that good stuff. Um, got some lights up here. That's all on a switch so you can turn the light on. And then, yeah, you can change the color. You can change it to orange. So if it's a lot of bugs, you can keep the bugs away by changing it to orange because they're not attracted to that color. And up the top here, we just got pot pans, um, a bucket to do laundry, and another bucket with dishwashing detergent and all that sort of stuff. We have um, 12 volt. PowerPoint outlets here so we can use that to you know, charge our drones, GoPro, real speed, you can charge our phones um, or whatever we like. In here we have a water level indicator so we've got a 6 litre water tank on the back tray which we can use for a shower. Um, this tells you how much water is in there at the moment it's empty. And then down the back here we've got a 20 litre water jerry can so we can use that to, um, to wash our dishes, wash our hands and all, those, all that sort of stuff. So we'll talk about the back of the car. So I've got the 6 litre water tank in there. Um, that's the one that hooks up to our shower. It's just a little portable shower unit, which I don't have here at the moment, but, but that's what that's for. So if we're on the road, we can have a shower. Um, just a 20 litre jerry can holder to carry extra fuel, extra water. Um, spare tires up there. Over here we've got another 12 volt, 12 volt outlet so if we wanted to carry a second fridge we can have a second fridge on the back tray for the extended trips. There's a 240 volt outlet here that's hooked up to a lithium battery charger to charge a battery when we're parked up for a long extended period of time. Up the top here we've got a custom aluminium roof rack that holds our 300 watt solar panel and it holds our four match max tracks recovery tracks up there and then this is just a just a tunnel tray with all the stuff in here there's a table in here as well but yeah all the boring stuff in here okay so this is the business end of things so this is the the dual battery setup this is the 12 volt setup over right here i'm running the c tech 250 SE and a SmartPass 120S. Um, so we're running a 100 amp lithium battery. There's a 3000 watt inverter down there, which I use to charge my computer batteries. I um, also use it to charge camera batteries, drone, etc. Over here we've got a the Victron Energy Blue Smart Charger. This is a lithium 240 volt lithium battery charger. So when I'm parked up at home. And the car's been parked up for a while this connects to the battery and then you connect a, a lead to this end and that will send 240 volt into the battery which will charge it uh, if i'm parked up at camp and charge through the solar panel which is for free on a watt so on a sunny day i could be at camp and i can park up and then it'll charge through the solar panel um, and then when I'm driving, it will charge through the alternator of the car. And I will also charge up this battery. This battery is generally always full. In here, got a little tablet which connects to the battery. If you if you turn the Bluetooth on, it will show you what's in the battery at the moment. So you can tell you it's charging. There's it's five amps coming in at the moment, and it's 100 percent. Um, what else? And yeah, these are all my tools. Um, so back to suspension, so we've got an airbag man, so this is a an air compressor inside this and this is the, um, the airbags that push up and down the back of the car. So if I'm towing a boat and there's a lot of weight in it, the car will say, so this I can put more air in this. So this actually runs 
rows is off the left hand side of the car and then this is the right hand side of the car so when I'm yeah towing the boat it's saying I can adjust it for a caravan um, so if you're down or up and you lower your car so coming down to the back of the car so come down to the back of the car I'm running 500 kilo constant leaf springs on the rear because I'm carrying a lot of weight um, and the suspensions, so west coast suspension with 50 mil lift, so two inch lift. Um, I've got a running a three inch PPD all system. We'll, we'll run through the diesel tank. So we're upgraded to the ARB long range fuel tank. This one holds 120 liters. Okay. So on this side we have the Ironman 4x4 shower tent. Uh, this one takes not too long to set up, just gonna undrip it. This comes here. Comes here and then pull this. Pull this out like that. Pull that one out. And that's it. It just free sands. And then you come over this side. You got the zipper, so you can you can go inside. So this is your shower. Um, you can use it as a shower, you can use it as a change room, so yeah, it's really good. All of the brands and products used on this car are not sponsored. These are all the products that I purchased with my own money. All of the modifications was done by myself in the driveway or in the front yard. I'll throw some photos of that up in this video. Please like and subscribe to our channel, it really helps us out a lot. That's a wrap for today, guys. See you guys on the next video.